Good morning, Greg here with Master Trader. Well, we've got the, the futures down here pre-market pre quite a bit. You can see the size of this uh, large red candle. That's uh, the 24-hour chart, uh, the current trading and testing this low right here that uh, prices had pushed up from before with this type of retracement. I think we're pretty certain to have this M top in place here. Um, with that being said, this is not the time to be trying to get short this market, even with this bearish pattern. So let, wait for retracements. I think probably uh, just by the looks of this, historically, this kind of a pattern, it's best to let this go as far as trading this probably until tomorrow, unless you get, you know, a nice retracement, a pattern that sets up. But from the daily chart point of view, I would just let this set up probably over the next day or two and then we'll see how this might roll over to the downside now the nasdaq which has been quite extended for some time we're getting a topping tail on the weekly chart there's big red down candle here but it's coming into this little support level right there let's just look at the intraday chart um oh right into here where it's coming into that support you know as you can see it's down a whole lot so um you can switch to smaller time frame looking for opportunities but with it down this much and into support um it's probably going to take some time for this to shape up into any type of an opportunity the dow here which is now forming an m top on the weekly time frame um it could turn into a trading range, but I like this. Again, we'll have to let it set up here. Let me go sideways for a day or so. I mean, it could just, you know, as the news comes out about uh, Washington, this could have another down day tomorrow, of course. Uh, but we'll have to see as we get more data to see, you know, what happens there. Bonds uh, pushing up into overhead resistance so you got bonds at resistance equities at support um you know thing to do is just wait and see how this shapes up here um there should be sellers up in here at least it consolidates for a while and it's shot straight up you can see on the 30 minute chart and starting to back off here um a, a little bit still got 20 minutes to go in this 30 minute candle so we know when we don't know where it might end um but I would just stand aside for a little while or wait for a retracement. You know, with these kind of big days, if you haven't, you know, been in it to participate, um, you know, this is a time where you take some off the table into this area here and then wait to see what happens um, as things begin to uh, shape up with more data. And oil up into this resistance area here. Um, so probably going to stall. You can see right here on the 30-minute chart. And we have some uh, financials, which are getting whacked here today, which was starting to shape up. You know, look like, you know, J.P. Morgan, this retest of this low here. Maybe it was going to get going. Citibank, we'll take a look at, which was actually leading, but was into a huge resistance area. So at, uh, you know, 6580-ish. That's a big gap down. It looks pretty ominous for more to come. You've got Citibank down here at 6120-ish, gapping below a big green candle like that. Very bearish pattern. Um, you know, it was up into this resistance, just starting to push up above these highs. So we've got a lot of longs in pain here that will be looking to get out of these. And they, you know, with that being said, they should shape up. Um, for some opportunities with uh, after some retracements and and well, that's what the big Amazon is doing here. It's down a bit. It looked like it was going to push up to a thousand. That looks like uh, not going to be happening as this correction begins to unfold in the markets. And just a look at the spiders just to put this in perspective of a daily chart pushing down to two thirty eight down here into this support level that's a big gap um you know and with a gap of that size into support i think some stabilization or at least some sideways price action before further downside comes and lastly i'll look at the cues um an extended uh, 
138, gapping down into here. Um, again, big, big gaps. Uh, you know, so a little extended short term to the downside. We'll see how this unfolds and uh, we'll update tomorrow.